te mata puna te putanga o te wai ora e, te tere nei ki te moana ko te wai rau e. Ko wai rau whenua te mara nui a haumia nui a rangi e, kei puta te wai rau ko tōku nei mana e. Ka ua tainui ki Aotearoa nei, ka takahi e te mato o te whenua, ka piki hau ki te tihi o tokomaru, ka titiro iho ki te puna o wairau e rere ana. Ka tau ki runga i a parirāroa te whare e whakaruru hau, ko te reo mai oha a te rā, ko te arawaire he uri o Ngāti Rāroa, E ko koia e ara e, ko Andrew Luke tēnei e ko rirua tēnei ki a koutou e tēnei wā. Tēnā koutou, and nice to be up here again, the third time up, but hey, hey aha, we roll with the flow in this conference at this point in time. Just wanted to put, to ground me, to be up here to talk about some reflections from today. Talked about Ngāti Rāroa, so we originate from up a place uh, around um, Waikawo, Marokopa. Um, 200 years ago was the first uh, heke into Taranaki. A couple of years there, made some uh, relationships and some alliances. Travel further down, oh, I don't know if we caught up with you, Pahia, uh, the Onganui, but hey, probably in some shape or form we did. Down into uh, Kapiti, Wellington, across to the top of the south. Uh, te taui o te waka a Maui and spread right across to uh, uh, te tai tapu. Yes, we have relationships further south um, with Ngāti Waiwai, uh, Makawhio, Ngāti Kuri on the east coast. So um, as we heard today around whakapapa, whanaungatanga, um, we're all interconnected in some shape or form. I still haven't found a connection yet to Te Rere Kohu. But the connection we do have is that we work together. So that, that's one one. That's one of them. Okay, um, just put up some, uh, some values of what comes through today, in my view. Um, Manaki Tanga, um, you know, caring, supporting the kaupapa, not just with each other, but supporting the kaupapa, in this instance, the Moana. And so how we do that, and it was coming through thick and fast today, in my view, um, for Nonga Tanga, exactly just um, wrapped up in the way that we are, the way that we're being. Oaha Tanga, of course, we're innovative, always have been. We came from where to here? You know, of course, we're innovative. We got here. And we're still doing stuff, changing stuff, adapting. We need to adapt. Um, Kaitiaki Tanga, yes, that, uh, that responsibility we have to pass on that knowledge, those exercise, those practices, so the next generation understand, but also that they don't need to carry on the fight that we've had to in our generation, um, and for the generations yet, yet to come. Rangatira Tanga um, uh, goes without saying, um, our authority um, as, as whānau, hapu, iwi, um, across this, uh, this whenua. Ko tahi tanga, um, our unity um, in supporting kaupapa, our unity in um, with and sometimes against the crown. However, Kotahi Tanga is coming through even today um, um, in the way that the projects, the, the whakaaro that people were putting through. Uh, sorry. Just to add in, I think there's a couple of other tanga to go up there. So, um, Aroha Tanga, perhaps. Definitely Titao Tanga that came through thick and fast. And we all know that if we can't dry a dish, wash dishes or dry dishes, well, you're never ever going to get to the front. Never. However, you know, we have those uh, expertise who, who always, you know, ki pai ki muri, ki pai ki mua, um, they're the best place to be at the back to make sure that um, things run well, people are fed, sustained so the front can operate the way it needs to operate. Uh, also, I just want to quickly, because I've got it written down here in my notes, just to acknowledge uh, Joe Harawira, uh, Ian Nururu, newfound uh, rock star, could be an opera singer as well, we don't know. 
Um, he might jump up after this, I don't know. Anyway, Ian and Kirsty Woods, um, my fellow Kahui members, um, and also uh, just to acknowledge the previous Kahui members I was with, um, Liana Potu, uh, Dr. Sarah Jane Tiakiwai, and um, Dr. Cheryl Miller. So a uh, good mix, I thought, oh, am I gonna leave too? But I get a phone call from the tūkana, uh, ta mark, bro, what are you up to? Go, oh, but I was thinking of this and that, and goes, oh no, you're gonna be the chair. Kia ora, Mark. <laughs> now me here to phenomena. Um, just some for Karo. Um, as I go through kind of quickly, am I, is that 14 minutes or four? <laughs> oh, anyway, I haven't wearing, I'm not wearing glasses yet, but I'm getting there. Um, now we started with um, um, with our, our Fanonga from from Hawaii, and that um, Nakilo Aina, you know, observers of the many things that that feed us and sustain us, you know, powerful. And, and the, I didn't take too many notes because I, I couldn't because I was just too wrapped up in her presentation. But what I gather from the the audience, you know, you you know, everyone got something from that. Um, uh, the the mother could do Tena, uh, well, yeah, There's, I don't know what I can say about that. Why? Because it's why. And it's um, um, where there is why, there is life. And the volume of why that we have on Papa Tunuku now was what was it? the same volume as back in uh, the time of the dinosaurs. So, powerful, really um, um, enlightening what was coming through from, from Taina. And uh, namahi ki a koe e, e te māre kura. Uh, uh, we come into uh, uh, Te Ao Māori and the uh, Kaipara Moana remediation, but Tame, you, you reminded us, us of uh, that responsibility we have um, to, to the whenua, to the moana, to mm. ngā wai kato. Um, and, and the kaupapa you have happening in, in, in Kaipara um, with the collaboration with, with other interest parties the rest of the community, because you live there, it's yours, and how do you support that and make it uh, flourish? Um, Lisa from the Te Ohu Kaimwana. Um, interesting for me, because sitting in an iwi space um, around um, Te Ohu Kaimwana and what they've been doing, they've been done a brilliant job for you know, 30 years um, to distribute uh, assets to, to, to iwi, um, fisheries assets, after the, uh, uh, the 1992 settlement, Waitangi Settlement Fisheries Act. Uh, Manamoto Haki, I suppose another value we could have put up. Um, iwi determining what happens next. You know, awesome to hear that, uh, Lisa, I know she's not here, but to, to say, you know, iwi, what needs to happen now? Come on, we've done our deep dive. Now what, what, now, now what do we do? Got some stuff to do, they're doing with around aquaculture, very supportive um, for that to happen. And then we had uh, the, the, the rock star, the opera singer from, um, from uh, Tūranga Nui Akiwa, um, Ian. And just that, that, that you know, I, I, I met um, Bill Rudu uh, back in, way back in, or well, last century actually. And, um, but the, you know, the corridor from, from, from your dad in um, to go, you know, about Rua Wharo, uh, the Modi stone, you know, to track the kōra, it's like, oh, it's always been there. You know, that's why, that's why we get kōra in Tūranga Nui Akiwa. Um, and it, <laughs> so something you said around, you know, you know, that stuff you can't get to, uh, find on Google. You know? One to put in the books. Um, a whanaunga from Rekohu, uh, Deborah. Um, <laughs> nothing else to say but kaimwana is life. Um, if you haven't, I've, had, I've spent some time on Rekohu um, where, where I met uh, Deborah uh, way back in early 2000s. But yeah, I could hear some murmuring and going, oh, what, you know, of the sight of those kina. But to see the younger generations, those eighth, seventh, eighth generation uh, all the tamariki, you know, carrying on those those practices that um, their parents, their grandparents have passed on to them. Um, a session around Māori tangata, Beth and Te Pūoho, um, um, around tikanga-based governance and management practices for the marine environment. Um, 
at what level do we think we need to be managing? It's all levels, right from the, the top of the top of the board tables, we've come right to our kaitiaki um, and whānau and our tamariki, because they all we all have a have a responsibility. Um, and if it's tikanga base, it's going to work. Afimaya uh, Afiatu or Kura, um, well, not here, but Matt, he's based in Cawthorn and, and Nelson. But the yeah, here just before when he, you know, pulled me up early and I thought, oh, I can go to the toilet, find that collagen that you were talking about that's out there, but I couldn't find it. Anyway, we'll get Matt and Kura um, to make something happen for you. Um, but karakia, you know, the, the importance of karakia, observing what's happening at the time, what flowers are going, you know, blooming, what birds are coming around, um, but the main thing, what, how you feel in your puku, you know, is it right to go away? Of course it is. We're done. We've done our karaki. We're set. We're ready to go. Um, <clears throat> oh, hua tau kina o hapu e. Um, I'm not Ngāti Parau, I must say, but um, I did have some time in Tokomari Bay way back in, or 1997, um, and did some work with, with the whānau there, and uh, um, they, they said they'll make me an honorary Ngāti Parau. So that counts, apparently. But... Um, Furthermore, when I was with the Ministry of Fisheries implementing customary fishing regulations, the East Coast was one of the, the areas I loved to go. I used to get hammered um, by the Komatua, but there was in, in the Kopa because he is as well, I was younger then, coming up into, you know, as the Crown uh, to talk about implementing customary fishing regulations. So, um, fire, when you talk about Narohe Moana or Nahapu or Ngati Puro Act 2019, as, as iwi. And as hapu, we're all going through that taku tai moana. And to have something that you've got in place as strong as that, and my association up there in terms of the different areas and the different kore that I got from the different kaumatoa of around customary fisheries, or around fisheries, um, yeah, it, it's lovely to see. And then with the kaupapa in your project, how that's just helping build that, uh, that uh, revitalization, bringing that knowledge to the fore, it was never lost, it just needs to be brought up and put in front. Whakaike te moana. Oh, I know a lot about this, but I can't actually, didn't write much notes, but grand ideas, grand purpose, what I got from it. Reaching into our kite and using mā tauranga. You know, it's, um, of course, what works, our mā tauranga. We know it, we just need to use it. Um, and, you know, we uh, had a kōrero around, you know, don't talk about fish, but talk about the way. And then, then you'll find those solutions. Um, and then we, we jumped into, Ta Tanya did a reflection um, of one of our, our sessions, and just to hear her saying, you know, taking care of Modi, which we did in the last session, takes care of you. You know, something to, to remember. Um, and I was up here with Hitori Kura, uh, um, my kids fuck a papa there. Obviously, my wife is from there, um, and just the the the, the mummy that they're going through in the hood. But they they're rising. They're getting on with stuff, and they're going to take it to those agencies in four weeks' time. This is what we need. What are you going to do about it? How are you going to help? Um, enabling kaitiaki tanga and ecosystem-based management. Te kore te po, kaitiaki tanga. They're not the same thing. We've got our own systems, kaitiakitanga, our responsibility. Um, we know how to, how to manage. We know how to work with things, with our environment. And so lovely to see uh, Dan, Lara, um, Desna, and your, tui, uh, and your daughter, um, Lara, to be up here after following that, that, the video from Tang Oil. Um, just to, yeah. This is what we're doing. Hey, Fano, here's some tools, eh? We're developing some tools that can help you do your management. You're being, being kaitiaki. Uh, nā tohu o te ao, nā pātaka kōrero, um, reclaiming and preserving our traditional knowledge of maramataka. And we heard that too a bit later on in the day, um, the importance in reclaiming through doing it instead of reclaiming through just talking about it. You know, awesome to see things in practice, people in the, getting in there. Um, 
Kelly Ratana, what, what came to mind was a, a, a whakatauki that Rere had shared with us at Te Kahui Aio, um, he uri o ringa ki raro. Nei, getting on doing the mahi. Why, why ask for permission, just do it. Um, and the te ao Māori synthesis, just to be up front, um, I was sitting beside Chris Corneliuson, and I went to close my eyes and, and be in the moment, um, but I knew I wouldn't want to come back from that for a little bit longer. But, uh, but with Chris, um, you know, we were just talking about the, you know, to go into that space, visualising, um, feeling your special place, hearing your special place. You know, you're feeling it from your heart. You're seeing it from your heart. You're hearing those from your heart. You're hearing those sounds. Um, but, you know, Chris shared with me his, his, uh, his, uh, his little uh, diagram. We had a bit of a laugh at first. Well, he did. He cracked a joke, but I thought, no, that's inappropriate. But we laughed about it, and I, I know Chris. But so connected with when he was you know, living over in the States or in Florida and, and the, the spaces he lived in and where he was, what made him feel good, what he can remember. Now living in Mapua down in um, uh, Te Tai Aorere, um, in a place there where he lives and how he feels, you know, with the moana, with the maunga behind, uh, tu ao whare papa and poke on there, um, how he feels and what it makes him, you know, how, we, you know, the positivity that those things bring. Um, and this and some whakaoro right at the end um, um, around, you know, Modi, and we'll, I've just brought that up earlier, and the Modi in the room was at such that everyone was flowing, you know, how do we um, continue that and how do we use that? And with my kids, I'd say, you know, they're talking about Modi, and it was like, well, they love Star Wars, like, use the Modi, Luke, use the Modi. <laughs> you know, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And get it. Um, but, uh, uh, and also, you know, how that makes us feel um, and how it brings us up when we need to be brought up. Whaka Papa, I, I will leave it there. We had a good corridor all there. Um, and as I said earlier on the Whaka Papa, we'll have connections some way, somewhere. And if it's before Aotearoa, if it's not in Aotearoa, it's probably way before that. I and mean, we know that. Um, with Anginui and Papa Tuanuku. So just with some whakaaro there, that top one ata whae e tia e te tangata i muri i a hau ki o pai to noho. So te tana poku kohatu, a tupuna of mine, um, in the wairo, it's what he said. And so for me to be up here is like, um, it's, you know, you know look after people, um, and but be, live good lives, prosper, and be well. And then, and then another... Uh, uh, tupuna, this was in the 1920s, and after I caught it all yesterday with Joe, you know, of course, there will be no benefit should we foolishly sit idle. We're doing it, a tupuna did stuff, and we've got to carry that on. And our, and our tamariki will carry those on, and our moko puna will carry that on too. Not to the extent that our tupuna did, or the extent that we are, because we don't want them to be doing the fight. And so, um, you know, take, I take to, to need about, you know, there would be no benefit should we fools he set aside. Um, I want to chuck up one other there. Um, they heard yesterday for the Maru, you know, pass the ball, of course. You know, play the game our way. Because when we do, great things happen. Um, they bought them one there, ka tika te haki he tohu no aitua. So their video from Tang Oil, and what I noticed, the Tenoranga Tira flag was upside down at a point in time that um, Hawani was, how it was feeling then. Um, you know, just let's get it up. But there, look, let that flag motivate the people to turn the... the oh, that should be Mamai, not Mara. Uh, mamai hmm. from, from Modi Mate back to Modi Order. There'll be a time that flag will turn up around the other way. Um, just that last one there, 250 to Hopo. Maranga Tia Te Angi too, or the kaupapa I've heard today is just like, yes, we're feeling nervous, we're feeling a bit fearful, but still doing it anyway. So why not? Um, and just uh, to wrap up, because um, I'm at an independent science research um, institute, not that I'm a scientist whatsoever, um, or done any research, however, 
um, Tanya mentioned it today about mātauranga. We went for a, a review last year, a, a, a green paper, um, around the, the future of the research science and innovation sector. What I heard today, you know, yeah, science, mātauranga, and what goes like that, but they need to be together. Not like this, right really close to one another, and we've had the corridor and through sustainable seas around he, he waka taurua. They need to be working together because when you have them working together, that's when the solutions are found. It's the time we find them. We don't find them when it's just the science awards. We find them pretty a lot when it's just mataranga, but when we've got both of them, it helps solve those problems that we're all facing today. So, kia ora mai, uh, hui hui mai tātou, ku oti e te, uh, e te kōrero nei. Engiri, uh, mihi atu ki a kia koutou, uh, e tautoko ana, e manaki ana, e te aroha, uh, e nga kaupapa, e te mihi mai hoa ki a koutou katoa. Ano rei a tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, a tēnā koutou katoa. Bang on time. <laughs> kia ora.